Hi guys, Jody here, checking in. I don't know what day it is, and I've stopped counting calories. Uh, I did this last P3 as well. Um, I prefer to go by the hunger scale, which is awesome. Um, and I just make sure I eat a lot of protein. And this morning I was um, 0.4 above my LDW, which is good. Last time I checked in, I was in the 130s, um, and I'd had KFC. And so the next morning I was up, of course, and I had a migraine. <laughs> um, I don't know if it's the sugar from the skin of the chicken or the pressure here. My boss had migraine too, so when the when the pressure drops here, it, it affects me big time, uh, migraine-wise. So I haven't had that bad of a migraine, though, in a long time, so I really do believe that um, the KFC contributed to that. Um, I felt really awful all day too. I um, my stomach was really upset. Um, usually, I get that a little bit when I have a migraine, so um, it was worse than normal. So yeah, the KFC was a bad choice. Like Ron Burgundy says, milk's a bad choice. KFC is a bad choice. Um, so I'm quite pleased that this morning I was only 0.4 above my LBW because. Um, being that I didn't feel well and I was up from the KFC the day before, I was worried, of course, that it was going to uh, affect me negatively two days later because it takes that long sometimes to catch up, but it was good. Um, today, no, yesterday, I added cheese. Yay, fruit cheese. I love cheese. It's my favorite thing. So I'm excited. I um, added cheddar yesterday and then today I had Monterey Jack and so sorry P tours let the cheese talk but um, tomorrow I'm gonna add camembert because I freaking love camembert and the softer cheeses um, are harder so I made sure I added two different kinds of cheese well we'll see how I am tomorrow on the scale if I add camembert uh, it's a big weekend here uh, May long weekend um, involves a halibut derby in our town and so there is a lot of people here and there's gonna be a lot of parties and we have friends who are moving to Saskatchewan so they're having a, a potluck dinner tomorrow and potlucks in my opinion really honestly when you're on HCG or when you're on P3 a potluck is a great thing because inevitably there's gonna be something I can eat for sure because I'll be bringing something plus a lot of because of where I live a lot of people are um, food connoisseurs, so they bring a lot of really healthy, delicious uh, seafood. Um, we, like a, you know, um, live on the ocean, so um, there'll be lots of prawns, there'll be lots of probably crab. Um, I'm going to bring tuna myself, there'll be salmon, there'll be lots of protein-rich stuff I can eat, and everyone here is, I don't want to say hippie-ish, because hippies in BC are different than what people think of hippies, but to the rest of the world, it's kind of hippie-ish style food. It's really healthy and um, a lot of quinoa, stuff like that, but obviously I won't eat that, but there'll be a lot of salads. Um, there'll be a lot of fresh vegetables. Lots of people grow, we all grow our own gardens here. That's, I mean, I don't, now because of where I live, I don't have a yard, but when I had a yard, I mean, everyone grows their own food, so it'll be good. It'll be fun. And, um, of course there'll be alcohol, so I'll cheat, but it's a big weekend and I'm okay with that. I seem to be stabilizing okay having a few drinks here and there. It's not seeming to set me back too much, which I guess I'm lucky because I know that HCG crazy can't drink her wine anymore, so I, I haven't experienced that yet, but I haven't had wine either though, but I love wine, so... We'll see how that goes. Normally I just have some, a couple beer, a couple of uh, vodka um, lemonades, I call them. I make like lemonade and then just mix my vodka with fresh lemon and mineral water and stevia. Um, so anyways, and then Sunday there's another party at um, my husband's boss's place. So that'll be fun too, another potluck. And... Um, yeah, I don't know if 
things to be going good. I, I've i added the, the major things I love. Cheese, cottage cheese, yogurt, mac nuts. Um, I'm eating really fatty meat, which I love. Fatty burgers, chicken, pork. Um, I'm going to add bacon tomorrow. Um, and yeah, so P3 is going good. Um, I was kind of bummed last uh, video, sorry, and uh, was feeling guilty. But I'm stabilizing, so it doesn't matter, right? That's all. what it's all about, is learning how to incorporate your life into P3. Um, because I personally am going to stay on P3 forever. I will add little things here and there when I'm in P4, but I, I love the P3 foods, and I feel better when I eat this way. So I'm going to continue to cut sugar and starch mostly out of my life. I will have corn on the cob. I will have the odd uh, pasta meal because I make fresh pasta and I'm not going to cut that out completely. But I'm I'm not going to go back to eating sandwiches and bread and battered stuff without using my alternatives. Unless I go out to eat. And where I live it's easy to get away with that because I don't have restaurants here. So it's easy for me. Um, I know it's not as easy when you live in town. I'm sure that it's harder when you have restaurants all around you, but um, I don't have that. So why not buy the better alternatives, right? So it makes me feel better. Everything, my sleep, my asthma, my psoriasis, my um, everything. I feel 100% better when I don't eat sugar and starch. And it kind of makes me sick to think that our our food is so tainted with all of that stuff. So the fact that I can actually avoid it and eat really naturally and organically and clean is a bonus for me. So I am I'm really sure I'll do well. Oh, and I want to tell you guys, last little thing. I have decided, um, I've only been on P3 for a week, but um, I've talked to you guys about it before. I've decided I do want to lose 10 more pounds. Maybe, maybe 15. Um, but I'm going to wait until um, the fall or winter um, and then do another round then. I'm going to sit at this weight for a while because I'm happy here, super happy here, and let my body stabilize and, and let my stuff all move around and figure out where it's going to be. I'm going to use my MS M cream on my belly and see if I can't shrink up some of the skin. I'm going to start doing my uh, Tybo and my yoga again and uh, see where it goes for a few months and then I'm going to do a couple rounds and I'm going to lose that last week. So just to keep you guys updated, I know um, I've been talking about it a lot, so um, I have decided that there is more fat on my stomach that I want to lose. Um, I just wasn't mentally there this round to do it, so um, I made that decision for me and me only and I've made the decision I want to lose more for me and me as well. Just so you guys know. I'm going to do it. Okay. I'm going to check on some vlogs. I've watched a lot of vlogs lately, so I will see you guys later. Love you all.